All right, so I have a couple of cool announcements. Number one, my stuff from Fabulous Manufacturing was shipped out on Monday, which was yesterday. So about a week or so, that should be here, which is very awesome. Also, my SD coilovers for the Savoy um, began being built yesterday as well. So that's two good things. I'm still waiting on the package for the Bora, which we still don't have mail yet. And I'm waiting patiently, but no, uh, no mail yet, which is frustrating. But hopefully it's here today or tomorrow, maybe. But right now, we're going to do... Uh, we have picked out a kit from Castor Air Ride to do for the R32, but the owner wants to build a custom kit for the R32. So how to buy a tape measure, I'm going to do the measurements of the back of the car and show them the interior so we can get a whole custom kit made for this car, like a trunk setup, that kind of stuff. Similar to what they did for Jamie or Severo, we're going to do for this car. So this is the space we're working with with the back of the R32 here. We originally picked out the K3 kit, I think it is, from Castor Air Ride, um, which is a uh compressor tank in the middle compressor manifold in the front and then hard lines um but they think that might be too long to fit across the back of here so the owner wants to make his own custom setup for this car so we'll have a tank compressor hard lines all kind of fancy stuff um we'll see what he comes up with so today we're getting measurements for him giving me pictures of the interior and then we'll see what he uh comes up with but i'm excited though they make some cool stuff so it's gonna be dope all right all the photos of the interior and the trunk space and measurements have been sent over to doug and over to andre so we'll see what they come up with i'm really excited to see whatever he has in mind for this car it's gonna be dope but this thing's gonna be so sick once it's just flat to the ground We've also been going through looking for wheels for this car. Yesterday, I came across a beautiful set of 18-inch BBS LMs. Whew, they look so good. The guy wants 3,200 for them, so we probably won't get them, but BBS LMs on this car would look killer. Check it out, boys. We finally finished the worst camel grind I've ever had to do in my lifetime, which is Damascus. Oh, we finally finished it. Like... I've been playing Call of Duty my whole life, like all of them, and that was the most brutal. Oh, it was awful. But we finally did it. All right, so originally I started this video on Tuesday. It's now Friday. It's been a very boring week to the least. Uh, my stuff from Fabulous, I said shipped out on Monday, and it should be here today, I believe. It was saying for the 6th, but I got stuck in Cologne for like two days. But either way, that was way faster than I expected to come from Canada to Germany in like three or four days. Is awesome. But the part I ordered for the Bora still isn't here. The company's like an hour and a half away. It's been, I ordered it last Thursday. It's now Friday of this week, and it's not here yet. So I reached out to the company. I have a contact over there. I said, hey, like... Just what's happening like their website didn't say anything about having delays so I was like this what's going on so they updated me yesterday it shipped out yesterday so it should be here today i would like to do the bora wagon video for today and then see the fabulous stuff which will be here today as well but do that video tomorrow so hopefully my part for the bora comes in today i hope i hope i hope i hope just put up the tracking for the bora here it says it's in train so hopefully like I said, it left yesterday and hopefully should be here today the company's only like an hour and a half two hours away it should be here today be here today. I am just having the worst luck. So this I'm sure says, yep, I'll come back on Monday. So the lady came to deliver my fabulous stuff. I had to pay like a little fee to actually get it from her. I didn't know I had to do that. So I left, I said 10 minutes, I left to get money at the ATM. The one I went to was broken. I had to go to another one. Got stuck behind a train, took me forever. So now she left and she's going back on Monday. So I can't have my fabulous stuff until Monday and my bore part's still not here, come on. Uh. All right, so at this point, might as well put the, uh, the wagon away because I can almost guarantee my part won't show up today because why would it? So this can get put away and out of the way and I actually have to get the GLI. It's kind of dark over here, hang on. I actually need to get the GLI out of the garage today because Tony comes back actually today he was able to get out of, uh, he's in Spain, I believe he was at, but he's coming home today and he needs his car back. So yeah, I have to move this car and that car and the wagon and get a battery for this. Yeah, yeah, that. that. Vehicle number one, the good old wagon. All right, before we put a battery in this car, I'm gonna use the battery from the board to jump this car. It's not completely dead. Um, but it's not charged enough to actually start the car. So jump this car, get it running, then we'll start this car, get it out of the way, get it out of the way, and then we're finally to that one. All right, well, apparently this is not enough because the car doesn't even want to like click over at all, so I don't, I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and put the battery in this car, get it running, get it turned around, and then we'll jump this one. Let's 
go ahead and try jumping the Savoy again. Hopefully it works this time. Come on, little Savoy. You got this. You want to live. There she is. There she is. And mind you, this is still the um, the factory fuel pump relay in the car, and it's still working fine, which is awesome. Uh, the battery in this car is just kind of shocked. I killed it on my own, but the car still runs, which is cool. So she is good. I cannot wait until this is in there. A lot of you guys said you really like how the V5 sound with the muffler delete, and I do as well. Um, it's a little bit tractory kind of sounding down low, but up high in the RPM, it sounds fantastic. But once this engine is in Savoy, we'll do a proper exhaust and it's in the sound. Woo, it's gonna sound so good. Up next, got the good old Savoy coming out. All right, and with all of that, we now have a straight shot to our, what? Yeah, I know there's a lot of, I don't know, Steve. I don't know, I like them and they're, I don't know. Okay, I don't know, Steve. As I was saying, we have a straight shot now to the July. Man, I worked so hard getting this car in here as close as I did, like the most minute little changes over and over and over to get it this close to the wall and not touch anything. And I thought this car was gonna be here a lot longer than it was, but he's coming home today. So the GLI is leaving, it's sad, but I'll be glad to have the space back. Look at all that space. So I'm thinking it is now, since his car is leaving a lot sooner than I thought, I might do the engine swap stuff over here versus waiting until the trailer's gone for over there because all of this is already not ideal, but it's a lot harder than the gravel over there. So putting a thin layer of wood on this, and this is relatively smooth, would be easier to roll the engine hoist and stuff over here than on that side. So I'm thinking is we'll back the Savoyan on this side and have it facing forward over here and then pull the V5 in on this side, have it facing forward here and have them like offset. So once in this corner and once in this corner, so I can put the engine hoist and roll back, have room to work. Same for this car, engine hoist, room to work and they're kind of offset from each other. And we got a nice solid floor. So I think that's gonna work out. I have to add some more lights. Obviously I'll do a row down and then a row all the way back. But I think this is gonna work uh, just nicely for some engine swap action. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Savoy and the V5 back in the barn. This one needs a desperate, a desperate wash. Like, yeah, it's bad. And there's a cat. You can see his little footprints over here. You can tell on camera. But there was a little kitty wow stepping all over the hood. So yeah, the car needs a wash badly. So this is more or less where the Savoy will be for the engine swap. I have room to work on both sides of the car. Like I said, the engine hoist can be right here and I have all this room to kind of work. It's also nice because once I pull the engine out, I want to clean the bay a lot. There's also this nice little drain that runs to the front and it's also like a cobblestone floor, so I can like pressure wash in here and clean the bay out. So I think this will work well. And I said the V5 will go uh, right here. I'll have that room in front of that car to work and pull the engine. So I think this is gonna work out quite well. Got the GLI looking nice and clean. Gonna pick up Tony for the airport in about an hour or so. Also, it's three o'clock now, and my package for the Bora is still in transit. So yeah, we're we're, we're not getting it today. There's, I have a little bit of hope, but it's 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 not happening today. Oh, would you look at that? I lost these shoes like months ago. Had no idea where they went. They've been in the back of the GLI this entire time. 
sick. All right, boys. So I figure since it's our last day with the July, might as well throw on the uh, the POV hat, get a nice fun little drive on the way to the airport to pick up Tony. We're going to follow Casey in the R32. Also, the uh, the batteries and the key fob are dying because I have to put the key right next to here. So to actually read it, please. Please. There it is. There she is. All right, we're good. All right, back roads, airports, and then the GLI is officially gone. I have to say, this car, well, the Mark 6 platform in general is one of my favorites. The 2.0 TSI is just, it's great. Well, the new Gen 1, I know the original generation had like that time tension conditioner where it could like grenade your whole engine, but the updated 2.0 TSI, it just drives really nice. I think the power feels good. These shifters are, you can throw it into gear as fast as you want to go, and it's just really nice. Ooh, Supra, nice. Now, the Mark 6 platform is nice. The GLI and the Mark 6 GTI, very, very good cars, I think. For those of you who are wondering, she still has her uh, her Mark 6 GTI back in Florida still. It's at her parents' house in, um, in Fort Myers. That car is a blast. I had that car for like two months, and it's such a blast to drive the daily. Makes good sounds, the power is nice. Ooh, that also just sounds good. <laughs> this thing's fun. I love how this car feels and sounds right now, but he has a, um, a new downpipe for this car. He's gonna go stage two, he has the clutch for it. It's gonna be fun, this gonna be a beast. Like right now, like the stock 2.0 TSI, like. It's a great feeling car, but once this car has like stage two and like the downpipe and stuff, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. And the turbo sounds so good, like. <laughs> such a fun car to drive. Let's see if we can keep up with the old R32 over here. And this car is fun. It's a smooth power and you can shift this car as fast as you possibly want and it just does it. It does need to be a little bit louder, but it's nice. I think it has like a, a muffler delete right now, I think it is, or a suitcase delete, one or the other, but he has a new exhaust for the car. Like I said, he has a downpipe coming. Well, the downpipe's in the back of the trunk right now. We have the downpipe. It's gonna be a lot louder very soon. Looks like we're stuck behind a Ford Focus and the fun is over. We are just about to the uh, the gate here. So that'll conclude our POV driving of the GLI. Like I said, this car is awesome. It feels great. You'll see more of it on the channel here soon because Tony's actually back. Uh, but the car is awesome. I would love to have a Mark 6 of my own one day. And these things are, I think they're great. They feel nice. The power is good and they sound good. So definitely a fun car. All right, our final drive in the GLI. It's a lot of fun. But as cool as these cars are, I do spy a Mark 8 Golf. Which is kind of surprising to see out here. Look at that, Mark 8 Golf and what looks to be like a close to a, a Nardo Gray. I've only ever seen the one we saw in Wolfsburg the one time. These are nice and this isn't the GTE, so this is one of the gas ones. I don't know what engine it has in it, but cool car. I like them. I saw the picture from the Nürburgring of the R and it looks really good, but this car is dope. Got a cool little spoiler on the back here. I quite like these a lot. So right now we're just waiting for Tony to get off his plane, but I noticed this. Hey babe, I'm sorry. You just, you cannot go over there. I, I apologize. <laughs> uh oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, there it is. This is, hey babe, this one, this one's for you. This is, this is your space. I found it. You coming or what? I wasn't paying attention at all. And all I saw some guy waving at me. I'm like, who is this guy waving at me? And it's Tony. Hi. What's up, buddy? I was like, who's waving at me? It's me. I was like, who's waving the at me? The one you're waiting for. Hi. What up, y'all? I Glad saw you're back. 
I could see her from over there, and I was like, let me hand them back to you, sir. Little side note, the battery of both keys, I think, is dead. So sorry about that, but there they are. There goes my, my Mark 8 Golf. That thing looks really good in that color. I wanted to stop the guy and be like, can I have a quick drive in your car? But I figured I probably shouldn't, but that thing is sick. All right, man, we'll take it easy. He's happy to have his car back. Yes. Stage too soon. He's actually paying me his exhaust right after he leaves here. Yes, Downpipe exhaust, stage two, clutch. This car's gonna be sick. I'm excited. Yes, but before that, we have to race my car versus your car. I think it'd be kind of close. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. That's gonna be fun. I'll just drive it. Our man, enjoy it. Hi, Mom. Uh, I'm good. All right, boys. We got the goods. Got a Taco Bell. Can't go wrong. Also got these new little, these ones, these uh, rolled chicken tacos on that. See really good. Well, as you can see, the sun is just about gone. It's currently nine o'clock. I've given up all hope of any of my parts from today. The fabulous stuff we can't have until Monday. I don't know if this guy will try and deliver tomorrow for my for the Bora, but just, just no parts for me today. The GLI did leave, which is cool. More space in the barn now. Um, but yeah, I just want my parts. I just want my parts. This video was not what I wanted it to be, but hey. It is what it is. Hopefully tomorrow we have parts for the Bora and we can just move on with our lives. Don't forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.